What is the hardest lesson a woman has ever taught you? That if she wants to hang out with you, she will make time for you. That one definitely goes for everyone. Including friendships. Yeah. A friend of mine was in my town for work this week. I wanted to grab a quick coffee with her. I guess her schedule was too packed, and I totally get that. She missed my 30th birthday let's all go to a bar thing. She always had one for herself. Her excuse for backing out at the last minute I got too drunk after the marathon this morning she is a super sweet person though. I mean seriously a super sweet person. I just wish I ranked a little higher up her friend ladder, but she is literally friends with everyone. You can be in a relationship and still be lonely. That's honestly the worst kind of loneliness too. In a few words, and though they say it better on 500 days of summer, it was that her liking the same weird s that I do, didn't mean she was my soulmate. Just cause some cute girl likes the same bizarro crap you do, that doesn't make her your soulmate Tom. Funnily enough, this made me not go through with dating someone, even though she was probably the only one who was into the same stupid s I was. Don't get into a relationship just because you're lonely. You quickly learn that being alone is way better than being with someone who annoys the hell out of you. This one right here mate. My wife taught me that my mother was flawed. I was 39. I completely reevaluated my teen and college years. My first marriage. Most of my life. She didn't tell me she taught me. She showed me that I was neglected by someone who I thought was incapable of this. This was a positive one. Your parents do not always know best, or have your best interests at heart. Oh boy it's this true. My mother used us as a means to an end. For a government and out in human form. Oddly enough she constantly preached how corrupt the government is. Only to heavily rely on their benefits. I moved out at 16. That she is who she is, and not who you want her to be. I'm not usually a judging person. But the amount of times my high school friends expect their GFS to be perfect little innocent f doll housewives is insane. This is a fact that most young men need to hear before getting into their love life. Tell them to stop watching porn as it's frying their brain. To be fair, porn women are usually anything but innocent. It takes two people to make it work, but only one to make it fail. That's a great line. Your feelings matter self-respect, how people can be when borrowing money her having a girlfriend isn't any different to her having a boyfriend women who are very aware of what they can get away with for being a woman are scary. Source the woman I dated who tried to manipulate me and later explained she did exactly that. Please can you share a bit more about the people borrowing money part, sounds like some important life lesson I might have missed. In my specific case. I borrowed her a lot of money which she said she'd give me back but there were always new excuses. When I tried to say no, guilt tripping was thrown into the mix by using her child, not mine. Lend once if you like, but a small amount. Don't lend again until the person pays back first. If they need more than you're willing to part ways with, they can go and borrow from their bank or use a credit card etc. I'd say this is all a no-brainer. But it may not cross your mind when it comes to somebody you're dating, you're infatuated with, and you place a false trust in somebody you don't actually know too well. How you perceive her when you're infatuated is nothing but an internal projection onto her. It's what your dumbest mind wants her to be, not who she really is. Feelings for someone fades eventually and is just an emotional high. It's an illusion your mind creates. Edit. People much wiser than me say love is built not found. Don't fall in love with the idea of someone. Don't put the pee on a pedestal. No matter how hard you try, some things just don't work out. Dust yourself off and move on. If she really wants to talk to you, she will reply to your call slash text within a reasonable time frame. Obviously there are exceptions and things happen but someone that's interested won't leave you hanging. She wouldn't consistently take forever to get back to you. Learned this the hard way. Tried to make it work with someone who would take a day and a half to reply to me when I would respond the first second I was free. Slash. That even if you are everything she wants in a relationship she still might say she doesn't like you. Her words exactly where you are everything I want in a boyfriend but I just don't want to date you. 
that hurt so much more than I could have guessed. That's girl speak for I don't find you attractive. Add a little more trauma for him. I'm not even the backup. I'm just a pick me up. Apostrophe. I'm sorry you are not valued and appreciated as you should be. You should never be too busy for the one you love. How much abuse you tolerate is not a measure of how much you love someone. This should be written in granite and placed somewhere important. That I had a rest ton of unresolved trauma from childhood, past relationships, combat and life in general because I was dumb and thought that's what men do. Just lock it in a mental box and never think of it again. And that because of all of that trauma, I felt like I didn't deserve love and threw up barriers left and right anticipating an eventual breakup. That because of this I'd been treating her terribly for years when she decided to finally break up with me and that I needed therapy and much work before I was in another relationship. I hope you are doing better now backslash u0001 fact 2. Doing very well. Better partner. Better father. Better all around person. Thank you. Well done. I'm glad for you. Never put a woman on a pedestal. That she can lie for 20 plus years. That one comment from the heart. Yeah I'm curious where this came from. At the end of the day. All you have is yourself. We're born alone. And die alone. Love yourself first and foremost. Rather than trying to seek into others for validation. I feel we struggle the most on this one. As the one thing we all truly try to run away. Or hide from is ourselves. You should've done it for them. The only time people really seem to change, or when it truly hits them on wanting to is at the loss of an end. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. In this generation, which is the most concern is lack of communication and respect. This goes a long way on how much they truly respect you. Seems like we had a very similar experience I'm guessing she left you too for someone else eh? Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. No role models. J. Cole. That I'm better off single. There are great women out there. But I never seem to meet them. Or they are already taken. Just the few in the past that I met. Taught me that I'm better off staying single. For today you are. I keep an open mind in case that changes. But I'm okay with what today has in store for me. But won't close the door on the idea of that changing. It's good to keep an open mind. Just that I won't hold my breath. That I'll find someone. Things have been peaceful and smooth while living in solitude. <laughs> Definitely calculus. Hottie. Watching what had previously appeared to be otherwise beautiful and caring women turn into a demon from hell during her divorce with her husband. It became a situation where she just wanted to extract every penny she could get out of him and make his life as difficult as possible if he didn't give her exactly what she wanted and her female friends cheered her on throughout it. During the years I knew her I would have never expected that from her. That was one of those lessons for me where you really never can tell what people are like when the chips are down. It was not the only divorce I saw that happened in either. Not going to lie it totally turned me off marriage permanently, though I'd still consider common law under certain conditions. I once heard a divorced woman, one of my mental health professors at college, say that you know who you married, you don't know who you're divorcing. I think that's universally true. People you think you know will fake who they are to you. No matter how communicatable you make yourself, no matter how there for them you try to be, no matter how non-judgmental you act, they will lie to you and have their own thoughts you can do nothing about. They will say one thing straight to your face completely unprovoked. But that's part of lying. To make you believe something. And they may leave one day. Without saying a word. They will not talk to you again. You can do nothing to stop this. And it may be painful. But ultimately you feel this bad. Because you were able to feel that good. Do not shy away from the pain. Do not lock your heart away. And destroy the key. Love is a risk slash reward and it always will be. Don't expect closure. This is a big one. Life isn't a movie with a neat ending to every story. It's messy with loose ends that aren't gonna get tied up in a nice knot. <laughs> Just because you treat a woman right, doesn't mean she wants to be treated that way. Fuck. So goddamn true. They can replace you within a day if they want to. Could you possibly cut me any deeper? 
the new guy, might be who was just a friend. A woman can either make, or break a man. Learn this from experience.